Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening, family. Welcome. Welcome, welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. You know, you guys, it's kind of hard to argue with ancestor Dr. Francis Crest when she said that, you know, supreme right, racism is in everything. It's in economics, education, entertainment, labor, law, politics, religion, sex, and war. And each one of those components of our lives, <laughs> you can't get out of seeing the white supremacy in it and the racist in it and the, the racism in it. And it becomes so pathetic. It's so, it's so pathetic. And that's why I say that you can't win. Those of us who are, um, those of us who are uh, um, aware of the signs and those of us are aware of our great scholars like Dr. Francis Quest, this stuff is undeniable. It's just undeniable. And this article, for those of us who are sports lovers, this is going to fall under inter entertainment, okay? This particular, we already see it in football. I mean, you know, shut up and dribble or, you know, in basketball and, and, and Don, Donald Trump or whoever else calling the football players, the done sons of bitches. Um, then you got Colin Kaepernick and that whole fiasco. So, which brings us to another just diabolical race story involving NFL, the NFL, I should say. So, you, you listen to this. The NFL halts, so that means they, they put a stop to race norming that presumes that African-American players start with a lower cognitive ability and means that they get smaller payouts for concussions. Did y'all hear what I said? I want to do the football players know this. I mean, I'm, I wonder, are they aware that the NFL halts race norming uh halts that race norm and practicing that they use that presumes that African-American players start with lower cognitive abilities, which means they get smaller payouts for concussions. Give me a freaking break. After initially refusing to do so, the NFL on Wednesday pledged to halt the use of race norming in the $1 billion settlement with retirees over brain injury claims. The practice of race norming made it harder for black players to show a deficit and to qualify for an award because it presumes that they already had lower cognitive ability. Y'all see this? Oh, how could you even want to play this game? How could you keep wanting to play games for them? The league also said it will review past scores for potential race bias. Yeah. Christopher Seeger, the attorney representing the retired players in the concussion settlement negotiations, has apologized for not recognizing the problem sooner. According to the NFL, a panel of neuropsychologists formed recently to propose a new testing regime to the court includes two females and three black doctors. Oh, that's going to make it. The latest chapter in the NFL's ongoing billion dollar concussion with the settlement with former players. Was was. <laughs> it's just insane. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, you guys. I never knew that. And so it's shocking me as I'm reading. It is so damn pathetic. 
Anyway, this Christopher Seeger, the attorney uh, representing retired players, said um, he was wrong and not to take concerns about race norming seriously. I didn't have the full appreciation of the scope of the problem. You think you know everything, and sometimes you don't. But the closer I look, the more I realize that this had to go. You have to break it down in every institution that it is. Every part of our lives is being run by white supremacists and white supremacy. And that's the same. I'm really sorry that anybody, any client of mine in this program, made failure of the system. It's assumed black as it started off with lower cognitive functioning. In the one billion sentiment of the brain injury claimed that the review passed scores in any potential race by this. Davenport and another former Steeler players, Kenny Kevin Henry, filed the original complaint objecting to race norming. So this has been a normal practice that they've been doing. Black players get less for concussions. <laughs> it said, he said, words are cheap. Let's see what they do, said former Washington Redskins running back Ken Jenkins, whose wife Amy Lewis had the petition drive on behalf of NFL friends struggling with cognitive problems. Jenkins, an insurance executive, has so far been spared. According to NFL, a panelist of neuropsychologists was formed recently to, to propose a new testing regime to the court, and it included two females and two, uh, three black doctors. The replacement norms will be applied prospectively and retrospectively for those players who would otherwise have been qualified for an award but for the application of race-based norms. The NFL said in a statement issued Wednesday by spokesman Brian McCarthy. This is, this is pathetic. Seeger, who negotiated the 2013 settlement with the NFL, said earlier this year that he had not seen any evidence of racial biasness in the administration of the settlement fund. He amended those remarks Wednesday, though, apologizing for any pain the program caused. I'm sorry for the pain that this episode has caused black former players and their families. Ultimately though, this settlement only works if former players believe in it. And my goal is to regain their trust there and ensure uh, the NFL is, is fully held accountable. And that's what Mr. Seeger said in his statement. What y'all think about that? What y'all think about that? They got a bunch of, you know, athletes black with concussions. And they don't get compensated the way their white counterparts do because they feel like they're dumb in the beginning. That's just to make it in plain language. They already fight. They already feel like they're behind the eight ball and they don't have much intelligence or much mind. So them be having a concussion is not as bad as their white counterpart. What kind of make a comment below? Cause that's so, that's crazy. I am so sick that I'm so sick of them. I'll see you in the next video.